Is it the police? The, the police? The yeah, go on. Go on. I wish you had a boat. <laughs> okay, it's so funny. I've been driving through tropical storm Grace today all day. And it's interesting to watch the news reporting tropical storm as I'm driving through it. So um, I was driving from Montego Bay to Kingston from about 9 a.m. to about 1 p.m. and now I'm driving back from Kingston to Montego Bay. It's, uh, what is it, 3 p.m. now, three, half past three. Uh, the traffic was pretty bad in Kingston, so I'm still in Kingston, I'm just trying to drive out. Don't drive in tropical storm where the roads might be quite low because they're going to be flooded. And if you're driving on the main road, so make sure you're kind of driving in the middle of the road if it's like a little up, so just to make sure you avoid the, uh, a lot of water on the side. Right. Right, I'm going to the rock. Right. 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 For those who don't know me, my name is Irina and I live in Jamaica. This video is going to be nothing like my usual content, but since about 10 people wrote to me today asking if I was safe due to the tropical storm Grace because of how this news is delivered in the media, I decided to publish this footage. Alright guys, so what is it like to drive through a tropical storm Grace in Jamaica? Especially ironic because I've just published my video explaining why people watch bad news more than good news and that a disaster is a number one top seller. Check out that video if you wish. I'm going to leave a link in the description and I hope you enjoy it. Now back to the break. I just hope people are safe because it's not a good idea to go out in tropical storm if you don't know how to deal with it and what to do with it. If you wonder uh, why did we go driving all the way from Montego Bay to Kingston during a tropical storm? Because we had to repair a computer. We had to replace a battery in the computer and we cannot live without the computer. So let, let, me, let me film the mountains. You can't see the mountains. Is it the police? The police? Yeah, go on. Go on. Open this. idea to drive through the mountains when there is tropical storm but hey you know why not nah I'll just do my thing okay press the button Really, you know, 
never know when you have to break suddenly and if somebody's at the back, I mean obviously it would be their fault, but that's not going to make things any better, do you know what I mean? It's like, what's the point? It's better to be safe than sorry. But we're going through um, a cloud now, so you see, it's a cloud, it's really dark and you cannot see the other cars coming, see? The true risk in Jamaica is heavy and fast flooding. Unlike in other places in the world where flood can continue for a few days or even weeks in some cases, in Jamaica the flood would usually happen very fast and last for a short time, like a few hours, and then the water is gone. However, during these few hours, the roads would turn into fast running rivers, sometimes with debris, and this can be extremely dangerous, especially for children. But here is an important thing. This fast flooding with parts of roads turning into rivers happens pretty much every time it rains, not just in tropical storms. In fact, this tropical storm, Grace, is getting so much attention in the media, but in reality, even a regular 20-minute rain in Jamaica would give flooding, sometimes more than what you see now. See, this looks quite dramatic, except that it's not tropical storm, Grace. This was filmed on the 20th of October 2020, when there was no tropical storm, no hurricane, nothing. It's just that this part of the street is at the bottom of the hill. So even a short rain would usually result in this kind of flooding here. Look at this fog. Amazing. Amazing, look. And it's really dark, even though it's only like 4 p.m. In general, the reason for these flooding situations is very simple. Jamaica is a mountainous country in the tropics. So any rain that comes would usually be heavy tropical rain and all this water would rush down from the hills to the sea. If you're lucky to be in Jamaica when it's raining, make sure to have your camera ready because you can get some really dramatic shots like these ones from the video when we were caught in a thunderstorm while filming waterfalls. Right, you see guys, in T3 Highway, they have these special like nets, mesh nets, to prevent these things from falling. You can still see like some of the rocks for falling down, but um, you see that some bigger little rocks over there. Jamaica does have the infrastructure to deal with these kind of situations of heavy rain. Like the new highway has the protection from rocks falling. The canals in cities would collect the water from the hills and the mountains and bring it to the sea. So it does work. It's just that some places lack bits and pieces of infrastructure. Then some places would usually have more heavy rain than others. So of course, you can never guess where most rainfall is going to happen. I said, I did a go on in a St. Mary, Jamaica. Yeah, man, Cause look here. The big tree I dropped down right here, so. Oh, my I'm God. I'm black off the road. Copy said, the breeze. God is so cool. The breeze. Jamaica is like one big rainforest, so of course a lot of branches uh, would fall down during heavy rains and some can block the roads. So this is something to watch out for. All right, coming to the North Coast Highway. Um, the rain in here as well, but the rain is not as heavy, I can even open the window. So like I said earlier, heavy tropical rain is not a joke. It has to be treated with respect and safety procedures have to be always taken into account. Let me share a few tips I personally use to be safe in a tropical storm. Make sure you don't walk under the trees, avoid going to low-lying places and roads where the water would accumulate, avoid walking or driving by the rocky parts of the mountains due to the danger of falling rocks and landslides. Don't let your children go outside, obviously, and make sure you have some fresh water, food and candles or kerosene lamp at home in case of power outage. Wow, what is this? Hey ladies, are you alright there? We just arrived to uh, Calypso Villa, it's an Airbnb that we manage and our, we, we have some guests staying here right now. 
So we're going to uh, check on them just to make sure everything is going fine. So how are you enjoying yourself in the tropical storm? We're having a wonderful time. <laughs> the ocean is beautiful. That's true. Even all the storm is beautiful. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, have fun. All right. <laughs> right, well, there you go. What do you think about the tropical storm? Tell me, Greg, come on. Amazing, are you kidding me? Sit here and watch it, all protected. <laughs> Wind and storm and all the weather nature, it's wonderful. All right, brilliant, brilliant, guys. All right, thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, bye. All right, um. All right, wait, wait, I need to go. surge is usually a problem for places by the ocean but because Jamaica doesn't have a direct access to the ocean we don't have these monster waves. At the same time Jamaican coastline is protected with coral reef and marshland. That is why the risk of the surge is rather low compared to other places. So pretty. find out what's happening at home. everyone for watching and I would like to thank these people who wrote to me worrying about us here in Jamaica I really appreciate your concern it's very kind of you please everyone stay safe and don't trust the media with the coverage they always always exaggerate in the real situation but if you find yourself in any kind of storm happening don't treat it lightly either so the balance is the way to go in this case I hope you found this video interesting and I'll see you in the next one Bye for now.